What is up, guys? It's Mike Chimamo here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, most of all, welcome to the third run of my Gothic 1 playthrough, The Path of Baliar. In this particular episode, I will complete all of the sect camp quests, starting with those in the new camp. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, guys, let's begin. Lefty. How are you, my friend? Oh man, what do you want? Just wanted to see how you are. Slowly, Put slowly, the weapon you've won. Lucky for you, but I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. I'm sure you would have, Mr. Folk. People, oh. Some people you never. would have not seen the karma coming. Because, guys... Never forget, never forget that karma is a bitch. Alright, so... The first thing I will complete is giving a Balashidro is 200 ore. Do I even Same have that much? Story, I do. Good. There must be something about that story. Well, hang on. That did not go rushing into it. I've sold the weed. And my 200 ore? Here it is. Good. Now I don't give a damn yeah. about Bal Kagan anymore. <laughs> it was a good idea to do that business with you. I know. I'm a good businessman. Show me what you have. Let's Here. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. If you think... 78 or wow. You have to watch what you tell people. Change. I'll come back later for the rest, so uh, do not waste them on effing rice schnapps. All right, so uh, let's uh, distribute the weed for my uh, friend Balkagan. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Kor Kalam and Bal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people. But only give one stalk to each person. Uh, one more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Sure. Now, you can uh, either get the ore, which uh, will make you a profit of total of 200 ore, 100 ore for selling the 10 reavers, and another 100 by, from this guy, or you can get some magic spells, one of which is a sleep, which allows you to get in favor with one of the members of the sect camp, you know, one of the gurus. However, I recommend the third way, which is the one with the uh, super we weed reaver, the super jungle, and um, you know, if you give that to one of the other gurus, you can still complete the one with the sleeping spell if you do all the sect camp quests, which I always do, so that's why I take the ultimate weed reaver. Um, but uh, let's sell the weed. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some ore, just stop by. I 
Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. I thought that had been. Hey, maybe this bugger wants to buy some. There was a time when things would have gone very differently. You've given me a fair thrashing, man. It was a good fight, but now Hang it's on. over. Better not go rushing into anything. You're wasting those weed reavers, man. You puff and you throw it on the ground. Imagine if people would really do that. Such a waste. Or you know, if you could inhale all the the whole shit in one go. Impressive, but uh, you know, I would never smoke like that. <laughs> Neuron, <laughs> what a waste! I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure, here's 10 ore. Come by again when you get some more, will you? Will do, man. Will do. Now, the current uh, remaining uh, skill points will be invested into strength so I can uh try to uh, compete slash a victory in the arena of the old camp which will be done in episode 4 after this one at a mission to this to the old camp uh, do you want some weed do you want some swamp weed I'll give you 10 ore for it here any time you need to get rid of some more just stop by yeah man you're welcome oh hey man you look like you could do with some swamp weed. He got some. I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. You're welcome, man. You're welcome. Hey, Homer. That wasn't very clever. No, you don't want some weed? No? Okay. Too bad. Some good shit. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? Come on, guys, get some new, you know, catchphrases because uh, it's gonna be a bit repeating, eh? Right? Stop that. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. He got some. I'll have a stalk for ten or. <laughs> so, so boring. When, when they repeat the same and the same and the same. You look like you could do. He got some. <laughs> I have two more. All right, so let's sell them to the mercenaries. Maybe Kronos wants a stalk. I doubt it. That's really not my problem. Maybe. Yo, man, what's up? What's up, man? As long as I'm not See you later. You don't want? Uh, you want? Don't want some goody? I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you ten ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some too. I bet they do. Do you want some swamp weed? Sure I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... Yes, I know. That's really not my problem. Maybe. I've shared out the weed. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. What will you have as a reward? Tell me to join the Brotherhood. Your request is modest. I'll help you, so listen to me. Baal Tion is one of the lower gurus, just like myself. E. Baryon has made him one of his advisors. That has not done him any good. He now thinks he's so important that he'll talk to nobody but his disciples. If you give him this here, it'll loosen his tongue. Arigato. Alright, so uh, let's do a little testy test. Uh, let's see what I get for it if I use it. Nothing. Okay, nappy time. Too bad that I don't get vision or something, you know, because uh, the guy that uses it gets some sort of vision. 
But um, I, my, I just gotta sleep a bit, you know. You must be tired. Okay, so don't use it. It gives literally nothing. Except for a little map. <laughs> Let's see. So uh, that was it here, I think. Now for the one with the um, the uh, new member of the uh, Brotherhood of the Sleeper, or the Sleeper's Brotherhood, or the uh, Swampers, the Sect Camp, whatever you want to call it. Um, for these buggers, I have to first go to the Sect Camp, get a quest from one of the Gurus to uh, find him a new recruit. Um, which will be, um, what was his name again? God damn it. Mm, can't recall at the moment. Something with an I'm not S? In your I, I don't know. But, uh, for that I first have to talk with one Melvin to the Guru, which are both in the sect camp. And I have to go back to the old camp, pick that guy up, pay his bounty, which is about 100 ore. You know, to bribe the guard so that he can run away. If you don't pay, he will bug and uh, he will walk back to the camp. So don't do that. Just pay the ore. If you but, uh, then I have to go back to the sec camp, deliver him, and then it's pretty much job done. Because uh, the majority that I still have to do is within the sec camp, you know. And uh, while I'm going back to the in the direction of the old camp first to talk with a few gurus well uh, novices um, I will also go to uh, the magicians of fire and deliver their message uh, let me check that message by the way venerable master your last missive was received with great anxiety. We have conferred upon the matter and are sending you our reply in this letter. The Brotherhood is dangerous. It endangers the further success of our trade agreement, which in turn endangers the King. The entirety of the realm and your own life. Therefore, you should dispatch scouts to determine what gods and what knowledge their magic powers are derived from. Once you have discovered this, we will inform the priest of your findings in the hopes of putting an end to the whole affair through combined efforts at this very moment. The scholars are studying the ancient books. We will report of your findings, uh, our findings to you at once using the usual means of communication. May Enos protect us all. Fuck Enos. Fuck them motherfucker. Am I allowed to say that, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys uh, think I should, uh, you know, uh, stop doing that. You know, the cursing and whatnot. Just let me know in the comment section down below. It's got to be hard to train it off, but uh, for you guys, I would do it. You know, of course. But still... Fuck Enos. <laughs> Do I have sh stuff to sell? Uh, let me see. Uh, no. No, I don't have stuff to sell. Well, that's too bad. I don't even have steel blanks, which is a bit a uh, shame. All right, so let's go to the old camp and talk with my of good friends, the novices slash members of the sect, and uh, 
you know, talk with them about uh, the sleeper, which is the main reason why the magical barrier, you know, exploded to proportionate larger than the mages originally. Because because of the creation of the barrier by the king, the sleeper got awakened. And because of that, because of the presence of this uh, demon of Balear, um, the proportion of the magical barrier extended, you know, so that it could, you know, pr I don't know for exactly what reason, protection maybe, you know, protection, so that the sleeper could not exit the Valley of Mines. But, um, the sleeper is indeed dangerous. They've got a point with that one. But fear not. A hero is in the rising. A evil one at that one, you know, because this guy will support Balea. So keep in mind this guy is going to be evil. Evil-ish. You know, he, he does it for the right purposes. So where's my good friend? Oh no no no. The bugginess again. No, I'm not in the mood for the bugginess. Hey, you! Now what? The time's come for you to prove you're a true friend. Just ten ore and you're in. What do you say? Fine, here. I've changed my mind. There now. You see, you can make the right choices. And from now on, you'll keep paying me your daily contribution, won't you? Yeah, but you're bugged, so... See ya. Don't you worry about anything here in the camp. We'll be looking out for you. Bugger off, please. Police. Hurry, Baltaron. If he moves, I'm effed. Come on, man. Oh, dear. I'm new here. Who are you? I am Baal Taran of the Brotherhood of the Sleeper. What is the Brotherhood of the Sleeper? We're a community of believers in a new faith. Our camp is situated in the east, in the swamp. I've come to preach the words of the Sleeper to strangers like you. Who is the Sleeper? The Sleeper is our Redeemer. He disclosed himself five years ago through Eberion, our master. Since then, we have renounced the three gods. And you should do so as well. The gods just stood by and watched while we were exiled to this prison. But the sleeper will lead us to freedom. How do I get to the Brotherhood's camp? I'm busy, but Baal Parvez should be somewhere in this camp as well. He's near the marketplace, on the other side of the castle. I believe he's even got his own hut there. Tell me about the Sleeper's teachings. The Sleeper is a powerful being, maybe even more powerful than Inos, the god of light. He is with us in spirit, but his power is still limited. He has been sleeping for a thousand years, but now the moment of his awakening is near. He has chosen us to be witnesses to his awakening and to spread his word. So listen, all those who join the sleeper will have immortal souls, but those who are against him will be punished. But the sleeper is compassionate and sends proof of his might to all who doubt him. Guys, a, a serious question for you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below, okay? Would you guys want to live for all eternity and extend life itself, you know, time itself? So if you could choose to be immortal, would you really take the option to become immortal? I surely wouldn't, because uh, in the current world that we live in, you know, this shithole for all eternity, all the shitholes afterwards, and no thanks. But what do you guys think, you know? I'm, I'm wondering. How does your god prove his might? He speaks to us through visions. Whoever hears his voice no longer doubts his might. If you take the weed which grows in the swamp, you will be close to the sleeper and able to hear him. Some people even see images. I see. What will the way to freedom look like? 
we are preparing a great invocation of the sleeper, in which all novices create the contact together. In this invocation, the sleeper will reveal the path to freedom. Thank you, thank you, yeah. All right, um, already talked with Paul Parvez due to the fact that I had to let me guide you to the sector camp for some free XP, which was always good. Hey, Diego. Can you teach me something? Yes, I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. I doubt that's ever likely to change. Your strength has increased a lot. Indeed. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Muto, Muto. Take care. Let's talk about something. 31. Well, that's the start. All right. Mages. Hold it! What's up? You can't go in the castle. Beat it! Ray. Hey, Diego. Hey, my brother. Hey, man. What about my esteem within the camp? I've talked to a few people. And? Scatty has told me he's anxious to see how you come off against Kurgo. And he's anxious to see if you'll challenge Karim. Whistler told me the story about Fisk. Well, if I was you, I would have taken the ore and cleared it off. But anyway, he thinks a great deal of you. Sly told me that you found Neck. He seemed to be really content. Fingers told me that you've already learned a bit, but he thinks you can still improve your skills. You've really managed to get the recipe from Kalam. Dexter is very impressed, and so am I. Thora says we could make use of someone like you. That's very good for you. You've found enough people to speak in your favor. You also passed the test of faith. Go to Thoris. I've already told him everything. He'll let you go to see Gomez. Okay, I thought I already did this, but just I mean, a minute, I realized that by the time, you know, when I was doing the old camp quests, I forgot to re-talk with Diego because I had, you know, at that point I didn't finish the quest for Thoris, which made sure that I wasn't capable of yet of joining the, um, the people of Gomez and thus couldn't enter the castle yet. But uh, I totally forgot to re-talk with that bugger, so, okay. Whatever. What do I have to do when I meet Gomez? Gomez's decisions are made from gut instinct. He'll look at your mug, and then he'll make up his mind if you can join. From now on, you'll have to get by on your own. Make the best of it. Good luck. Take care. No, I'm not gonna join Gomez yet, no worries. Because uh, this is the episode of the sect camp. Now, the only reason why I had to need that quest completed is so that I can enter the inner yard and talk with the fire magicians and deliver the message from the outside world. I need to get into the castle. And you expect me to let you stroll uh -oh. inside the castle to hand it over and collect your reward? Yeah. Okay, show me the letter. I'm not letting you handle it. Forget it. Okay, I've forgotten. Diego says I'm ready to see Gomez. That's my decision. And what do you decide? Hmm. I must admit, you seem to have done most things okay. Okay, you can see Gomez. He alone will decide whether you get to join us or not. From now on, you're on your own, kid. I'll manage, Thoris. Stop! Relax. I've talked to Thoris. I'm allowed in. Oh, I won't forget your face, pal. You get into trouble and it won't end quickly. Indeed it won't, because I will be whipping your ass. Damn, damn guards. All of them cocky. They will soon meet that karma. There must be something about that story after all. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. That is Caristo. What do you want with him? I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Are you a messenger from the outside world? Yes. A magician gave me the letter shortly before they threw me into the colony. Show me the letter. Here it is. This letter is addressed to Zardis, 
What's so exciting about that? Zardis has not been a servant of Innos for ages. He left us some years ago and turned towards black magic. He lives in a tower in the middle of the Orc land and concentrates on his studies. He said he would go his own way to find out what went wrong with the barrier. Wait here. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, man. Three hours later. I'm not listening to all the blathering anymore. It was obvious that there would be trouble. I'd better see that. I wouldn't like to be in this shoes, Oi! Caristo was beside himself with delight. He said that you may go to Torres and choose your reward. Where can I find Torres? He is in front of the temple building all day. At night, he is inside like all the others. But only magicians may enter the temple house, so you can only speak to him during the day. See you later. See you, man. Greetings, magician. May Inos watch over you. I trade in magic knowledge, and I can show you how to increase your magic powers. Caristo sent me. I've passed the letter on to him, and I'm to choose my own reward. You have done us a great service, and you shall have your reward. Choose carefully. Hmm, now since I already wear a ring of strength slash dexterity, I'm gonna go for the mana. I would like to have the potion. A wise choice. You have picked the most precious of all gifts. Drink the potion, and your power will grow. What do I have to do to become a magician? Talk to Master Caristo, if he has time for you. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Speak to Milton, and now go. How's venturing in the magic arts? That's none of your business. Relax, man. Holy shit, don't become mad. I'm looking for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Just go to Milton. He deals with gophers like you. You are a gopher, you unrespectful priest. Hmm. Shall I be able to kick Bullet's ass? I wonder. Nah, we'll keep that for an admission to the old camp. Episode where I will uh, join uh, Gomez's men. So, uh, let's uh, go to the sect camp and uh, complete the quests there, get whatever the guy's name was and uh, get him to the sect camp as well. But for that I first have to go to the sect camp. You told me I could have as much stew as I wanted. And that's true. Here, take three portions. See? Can't, I can't talk with him about it. No, no, nothing. But quest is completed, you know. GG bugginess. Now the arena I will do in uh, the episode, where, next episode, where I will, uh, you know, compete in the arena to join the new camp. Uh, new camp, old camp. So uh, basically that's the only quest that I didn't complete here. But uh, since it's night I'm gonna steal myself some steel. <sighs> some people never learn. You gotta love the bugginess. It was obvious that there would be trouble at <sighs> There was a time when things would have gone very differently. Would they mind? Let's see. That means you can always You shouldn't believe everything. Guys, this is how you convince criminals to keep stealing. If you don't give a shit, they would just steal.
take some time, guys, but uh, it will bring me a lot of war. Very probably right. Touche. Say, you shouldn't believe everything. As long as Same I'm not old story. every time. If you think. Right, so where's who know? Hey you! The right decision! Hey me? No. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. Have you gashing who know? Who know the boo know? No? Okay, goodbye. Let's get some sleep, guys. So we're now in day three of the game, which means four more days till the uh, so-called event. What's up, man? Peace. <laughs> so far, it goes pretty good, I must say. So far, only one death. Which is, uh, you know, nice. Still not zero, but hey. You know, this uh, fortunately is not the hardcore run, which is a good thing. Because uh, after this, I will have one more run to go. Which is uh, the hardcore run. Beating the game uh, from beginning till the end. All the way without dying. And to make things worse, I must learn everything to max. One-handed, two-handed, bow, crossbow, magic circle six. All hunting capabilities, all opening lock capabilities, all pickpocketing capabilities, everything. So it's gonna require me some nice amount of memory. Which will make it give a lot of options. To die by mistakes, by critters, by a lot of things, but it's surely gonna be interesting. <coughs> and uh, the hardcore runs are, of course, live stream, of course, you know. But uh, for the time being, can't really stream, which is too bad. Would have made things a lot more enjoyable, you know. Now I'm literally talking to myself for you guys so that you can guys can watch it on YouTube. But Oh goodbye. Good goodbye, Shadow Beast. No 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 no. No. Bon appetit. But during live streams, you know, you have a bit more interacting 
and uh, the reason why hardcore runs are going to be a live stream only is so that I have indefinitely proof that uh, I beat it the game without dying a full build. This means that in Gothic 1 it's gonna be fairly easy. Gothic 2 it's gonna be a bit harder, but Gothic 3 ladies and gentlemen, holy shit that's gonna be difficult. Holy shit. Literally. But in Gothic 1's case, you know, since one-handed, two-handed, bow and crossbow only have 10%, which is the max that you can train it to, that's gonna be fairly easy, you know, no biggie with that one. However, the downside of that is if I mastered, let's say, my one-handed capabilities and I want to train the two-handed capabilities, the first level of two-handed, instead of five uh, or ten, I mean, it will cost me twenty and for the fourth one it will cost me forty learning points because I have mastered my one-handed weapon. It doesn't matter whether you, you know, you first do one-handed level one, two-handed level one, one-handed level two, and then BAM! 40! You gotta need 40 learning points to a max 200. Which gonna make things a bit more complicated. But uh, when it comes to XP, this, this game has plenty of quests to ex get XP from, as well as a bit of a, a somewhat of an XP exploit. Which is uh, a buying all the spells at every chapter as soon as you get the Zardas by every summoning spell scroll that you can get um, from skeleton to demons to golems to army of darkness all of them and if you need to level just summon them and use wave of death and boom all those critters all those beasts instantly dead which is what I'm gonna do with this guy just to show you guys how easy XP grinding is because one skeleton gives about 300 XP Two to two to about three hundred each, you know. Army of Darkness is about five skeletons a uh, GG. But I will show you guys in this particular episode how OP my playthrough of the Summon of Belly is because this guy is the only one that. Uh, learns the sixth circle of magic the only one because the only two other well the only two gods basically in the game with magical capabilities Baliar and Enos you know have spells which require you to have circle six fire rain is circle six you know but also army of darkness is circle six Every Adenor spell, whether it's telekinesis, summoning golem, son uh, golem and goblin, um, tame animals, whatever, you know, um, those capabilities are all beneath Circle Six. Um, but you know, t you know, taming animals, etc., is just added by um, by uh, uh, by Gothic Three. But uh, basically, in this game, the spells of Adenors are a summoning goblin. Summoning a golem, um, telekinesis. Even though the sect brother, you know, the sect camp guys use them, um, pyrokinesis not because that's like a transfer disease or something like that, you know. But all three gods have magical capabilities. Basically, the only two that exceed Adenos are as long as I'm Balear and Enos when it comes to capabilities and spells. Who are you? I'm Lester. I take care of the strangers who arrive here. You're lucky that you didn't talk to Baal Namib. No stranger is allowed to talk to the gurus. But I want to talk to your master. Forget it. I'm sure I can help you with any of your problems. Tell me something about the camp. What do you want to know? 
What do you know about the weed? Well, the weed's grown in the swamp. Of course, it has to be processed before it can be smoked. That's what we novices do. The weeds have a tranquilizing and relaxing effect. They help you concentrate on the essentials and increase your awareness. We trade them for goods from the old camp, and we use them to recruit new people as well. The result is, of course, that some people only join us for the weed. Well, at least they help us with the work in the camp. Amen. What can you tell me about the sleeper? The sleeper's a divine creature. He causes visions, at least to the gurus. We pray to him, for he will give us freedom. And you believe that? Hey, I've been inside the barrier for two years. Do you know how long two years can be? You can't imagine what I'm willing to believe and do, just to get out of here again. Tell me about the guilds. The gurus form the highest guild. They are the spirit of this camp, for they have great power. The Templars use their spiritual power in battle. They have an indomitable willpower. You should never get into trouble with them. As for myself, I am a novice. We pray to the sleeper and do all the work in the camp. Some of the novices are allowed to join the gurus, but to get that far, you need to study for many years. Okay. I want to become a member of the Brotherhood. Kor Kalom decides whether you're ready to join the Brotherhood, but he relies on the advice of other gurus. Bal Namib over there is one of them. First, you'll have to prove that you're worthy, and then one of the gurus will send you to Kor Kalom. How's that supposed to work if none of the gurus will talk to me? It might not look like it, but the gurus observe everything you do here in the camp. If they think that you deserve to become a member of the community, they'll talk to you. You're bound to have opportunities in the camp to prove that you're worthy. How can I find my way around here in the camp? I can show you the most important places. Show me the way. To the alchemy lab. Follow me! Aye aye, Captain. You're very pro there must be some Alright, so let's talk with a Melvin. Dusty, that was his name. Wow. Hi, you aren't from this camp, are you? Well now, I am. I left the old camp a week ago. Told my pal Dusty to come along, but he wanted to wait. I know Dusty. I talked to him for a short time. If you meet him again, Tell him that he was dumb to stay there. It's ten times better than getting harassed by the guards in the old camp. I'll tell him if I see him again. What are you doing here? I'm teaching the words of the sleeper to the novices. I'm still a novice myself, but soon I'll be a bull, one of the gurus. I've even spoken to Iberian. He's the chosen one. He told me that if I work hard, I can soon be a master myself. But I'm still putting that off. There's no rush, you understand? I can still become a master anytime. At the moment, I'm quite happy about my current task. What's your task here? I test the new substances developed by Kor Kalam in his alchemy lab with my pals here. His aide gives us something new every couple of days, and we test it. This weed opens your spirit. If you take the right amount, you can get in touch with the sleeper. Have you ever been in contact with the sleeper? No, not yet. But that's because we never get enough of the stuff. Kalam always wants to hear about the effect of it, but I get the impression he's not really interested in my opinion at all. If I find the stuff stimulating, he passes it straight on to the gurus. But soon, I'll be a guru myself. Then I can go right to my limits and listen to the voice of the sleeper myself. Or you're gonna get some ore and purchase the wheat yourself. Well, that works too. You know, you gotta work, man. I'd like to join your camp. Can you help me? You wanna join us? That's good. Just wait. Yes, I think I can help you. 
I'm not a guru yet, but I have some influence in the Brotherhood. You'd have to do me a favor. Have you seen Fortuno yet? Maybe. Then go. See him and collect your daily ration. If you leave me all the swamp weed he gives you, we're in business. I'll think about it. I have swamp weed on me. You can have it. We agreed on three Northern Dark and nothing else. Get me the weeds, then we can do business. That's really not my problem. Okay. I'll get you your damn weed. You're very. But I don't blame him, you know. There was a time when things would have gone very differently. Some people. Let's talk about something else instead. About that story after all. Let's talk about something else. If you climb up this ladder, you'll meet Colom, the alchemist. Down here is Fortuno, the weed merchant. I'll wait for you right here, but don't take too long. Otherwise, I'll go back. You have to watch what you tell people. How can I get your master to talk to me? You have to know what he wants to hear. And that is? Listen, when we're with him the next time, you'll address me and we'll have a little talk. Bal Namib is worried because many of the novices don't only pray to the sleeper, but also to their former gods. You'll tell me that you've renounced the old gods and that, in future, you'll pray only to the sleeper. Then I'll ask you why you made this decision, and you'll say that you had a vision in which the sleeper summoned you. He'll be interested then. Do you think you'll manage that? No problem. Must be something about that story after all. Show me the way. Let's talk about something else instead. There must be something I've come to collect my daily ration. Here, take it! Three of the Northern Dark. But don't smoke them all at once. Something about that story after all. Hot talk. Some people. Okay. Enjoy the water pipe, my friend. Karma meeting him soon as well. Because he's a lazy bum. Hi, I'm new here. <sighs> here, Master, a modest present from your student. Hmm. All right, so let him do his little nap. What am I gonna do in the meantime? Wait. <laughs> Okay, man. What was that? I don't know. You tell me. In the name of the sleeper, I've had a vision. It was incredible. I saw that we would win a new brother. One who was not like those who came before him. He was doing something to us. There was a sword in his hand, and he was descending a wide flight of stairs. Then the vision ended. He looked very much like you. Who are you? What do you want? I'm just a modest servant of the sleeper. Go to Kor Kalom. He'll take care of you. The sleeper be with you. <sighs> they don't like that, you know, that you talk to them. Idiots. What do you mean? I'm all high and mighty, so you cannot even talk to me, you little bugger. May- No, you may not. I have swamp weed on me. You can have it. Good. You must have noticed that none of the gurus wants to talk to you. You can change that by impressing them. I can tell you how to do that. 
How can I impress the gurus? Balkadar instructs the novices in the magic of the sleeper. If you want his attention, use magic. But don't give him the fist to win. Send one of his audience to sleep or something like that. Bal Namib is over there at the main gate. He's one of the toughest guys. I think Lester might be able to help you with him. Speak to him as soon as his master is away. The other gurus are basically quite okay. Just try to make yourself useful. Thanks for the advice. Hey, a deal's a deal. This guy is literally waiting until I'm done with my uh, conversation. How do I get at the magic of the sleeper? Balkadar sells runes and spell scrolls. That's no use to you if he doesn't talk to you, right? Maybe another guru can help you. Same old story every time. What he's referring to is helping the people in the sect camp. To be precise, defeat all the blood flies in the, you know, swamp area where the uh, harvesters. Ah, it's good to see you again. How have you been doing? I have renounced the old gods. Really? What made you do that? I had a vision. The sleeper talked to me. What did he say? He said, go to the camp in the swamp and join the Brotherhood. You're a very rich man, stranger. The sleeper doesn't reward many people like that. The sleeper has chosen you. Do you really want to join us? Yes, I wish to follow the sleeper. Go to Kor Kalom. Tell him I sent you because you are a true supporter of the faith. Get Thank out of you. the way! Whoa, man, relax. You guys are cocky. You're very this imprisonment is not doing them well, guys. Look at how, how high and mighty all of them are acting. Same old story every time. But Hi, I'm new here. The sleeper be with you, stranger. What can you tell me about this place? Well, the gurus are the most important people here. They spread the word of the sleeper and pass our master's visions on to the novices. Of course, he's too tired to talk to everybody himself. But on some days, he speaks to us in the temple courtyard and reveals the holy words of the sleeper. Tell me about the holy words of the great sleeper. He tells us what we need to do to gain freedom again. Iberian says that the sleeper will show us the way as soon as we're able to hear him. He's preparing a great invocation in which he'll contact the sleeper together with the best novices. Kor Kalum supports him. He's an alchemist who brews substances which put us into a sleep-like state. You can only receive the thoughts of the sleeper in this state, or, or when sleeping. Okay, so uh, sleeping a lot would also work, apparently. The right decision. I know. Hi, how's it going? I'm dead on my feet, man. I've been working for two days without a single break. Harlock should have taken over ages ago. It's always the same with that guy. He's probably lying in his hut, fast asleep. Why don't you just go there and give him a right kick in the butt? Can't leave here while Baloran is in charge. The work has to be done either way. But you could go there for me. He's staying right under Kor Column's alchemy lab at Fortuno's. Tell him to get his butt over here. Oh, that prick. That lazy bugger. I'll kick his ass. Don't worry about me, man. I'll kick that bloody cunt's ass.
Alright, so let's get the uh, swamp weed harvest and uh, in the meantime also kill uh, the damn blood flies for uh, the uh, sleeping uh, spell scroll so I can get uh, the approval of uh, Baal Kadar. Which uh, will allow me to quote join the, uh, the, uh, the sect camp. But uh, I'm not gonna do that because uh, those paths are, are already done. I just do them, the quests for the XP because uh, XP is more important than ore. Because trust me, at around uh, chapter 2 3, you are so rich that you can't purchase anything. Especially if you're gonna ransack the castle of Gomez. Hey man, what's up, my lord? Wait, what? Oh, I have to, still have to get that quest. So, I have to talk to Korkalom, apparently. God damn it. Karma, guys. Karma is a bitch. And since I'm going there anyways, might as well kick that guy's ass. Let's also get the quest for a, a new soul of the Brotherhood. I already have the quest, but I have to first talk with the Guru before I can actually get Dusty to join this camp. You don't look like one who submitted to slavery under the Ore Barons. You look more like a seeker. Someone who's searching for the true faith. Do you not feel a fire inside your body which keeps you from sleeping at night? I see. You doubt that what the Ore Baron slaves try to tell you is really true and just. You know why you doubt them too? They're lying. With those lies, they try to control weak spirits. But your spirit is stronger than their lies. Don't you feel a longing for freedom every single day? Don't you feel it growing stronger? It guides your spirit. Let it happen. Do you know what you're doing when you try to suppress it? You're denying your soul, denying yourself. Don't let your fears dominate your life. Free yourself. You need to understand. The sleeper will awaken. He will set you free and wash away all these disbelieving infidels. Like dross that is washed away by the rain, they will vanish from this world. They will moan, whine, and repent. But it will be too late. Then they will pay the price. They will pay with their blood and with their lives. Hey, you've spoken to me. Does that mean I may talk to you now? I see you've become familiar with our rules. That's good. I can feel your great spiritual strength. Soon you'll be allowed to join our community. I have spoken to you because I wanted to give you a chance to prove your loyalty. How can I prove my loyalty? Most of all, we need new souls to join our community. By recruiting one more man to our camp, you will prove that you're willing to do good service to our community. Where can I recruit new members for the Brotherhood? The old camp is a good place to try since a lot of the people there are fed up with fear and lies. They just need some kind of support. I guess you won't be very successful in the new camp. The men living there are barbarians. Well, barbarians is a bit of a nasty word, eh? Let's say atheists. Where can I recruit new members for the Brotherhood? The old camp is a good place to try since a lot of the people there are fed up with fear and lies. They just need some kind Why are you so desperate for new members? The sleeper has spoken to our master, revealing that he has an important message for us. However, he has not gathered full strength yet. That's why he needs our strength to contact us. Therefore, we are preparing a great invocation, and the more men participate,
the likelier we are to be successful. If you want to know more about it, go to the large court in front of the Temple Hill. But don't disturb our master in his meditations. Very well. Uh, sayonara, fucker. People with all their religion nonsense. You don't know what you're dying or doing. You're denying your soul. Denying yourself. No, I'm denying your God. That's Some what I'm people. doing. Hang on. Better not to go rushing into anything. Gorim sent me. What? Some people. I'm here to remind you that you're to take over from him. That's very nice of you. Remind me again when I'm through sleeping, yeah? Get your ass to the weed mashers or you'll be for it. Just try to mess with me again, sucker. What the Clear winner, I'd say! If you were sleeping, I would have not knocked you down. But since you were smoking a water pipe, get your ass moving, lazy bum. Oh, whoa, whoa, relax, man. Relax, cake, bye. Don't panic, you've won! Looking for trouble again? Well, do you feel like giving your pal a break now? You damn pain in the butt. Why do you have to meddle in my affairs? I just want to see you mash it. Okay, okay, I'm on my way, sucker. Let me clear winner, I'd say. He called me a sucker. You know, he's a sucker. That won't you shouldn't believe bad. everything you hear. It's obvious that there'd be trouble ahead. You're very probably right. Maybe. That's really not my problem. I'm not listening Maybe. to all the blathering anymore. I'm sure you won't mind me going in there. You if you're disrespectful you to my master, I'll kill you. Don't panic! You've won! You shouldn't believe everything in here. What do you want? What kind of experiments do you do? My research takes place on a level you don't understand anything about, boy. So don't waste my time. I have Crawler's mandibles for you. Very good. Take some of my best potions as reward. I would like to join the Brotherhood. I've heard you're the master of the novices and that you decide who's allowed to join. I don't have time. My experiments are too important for me to spend any time on new novices. I'll rely on the judgment of the Baals. When they say you're ready to wear the robe of a novice, come back to me. What do you want? I'll be seeing you. Oh, was not called Calum. Well, hang on. That won't happen again. As long as I'm not involved. It was the uh, the um, wheat masher guy that would give me the quest. Touche. Listening to all the blathering. Just because I can. <laughs> I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. You shouldn't believe anything you hear, but keep to yourself. I have spoken to Gorim. You have done one of our brothers a great service. Your cause was just. That's why I've chosen you for a special task. Kor Kalom urgently needs new swamp weed for his experiments. Our gatherers are working day and night. Go to them and take their entire harvest to Kalom's alchemy lab. Back. Who are you? I'm the guru, the guru of the swamp. My servants call me Bound Beck. Servants? I don't see any servants. They're everywhere. The trees, they walk and skip and dance. Oh, I see. Well, I'll be on my way then. 
Wait, you can help me convert this swamp into a massive meadow of flowers. Okay, you just got started. Me? I'll be back later. He's not going to get me anywhere. Talaran sent me. I'm to collect all the swamp weed. Good. Then I don't need to go myself. Here, take it. Don't forget to go to Viren on the other side of the swamp if you haven't been there yet. Otherwise, your lobe might be a bit small and people might think you'd sold the other half of it. <laughs> Who could I sell the weeds to anyway? Uh-oh. Now I've been putting ideas in your head, haven't I? No, tell me. Who? You have something in mind? I'm telling you, if the stuff doesn't arrive at Cor Colomb's, we'll both be in real trouble. If you know somebody, we could go halves. Well, I'd know somebody in the new camp. He'd be interested in weed. But if the gurus catch you at it, they'll feed you to the swamp sharks. I don't know anything, okay? Okay, who's the buyer in the new camp? You think I'll give you the name and you can just make a run with the weed? <laughs> it doesn't work quite like that. I want to see 50 or as an advance payment. Then we'll see. 50's fair. Here you go. Good. Listen, his name is Cypher. You'll probably find him in the bar on the lake. Be careful and don't let anybody fool you. Just keep picking hard. Of course. What do you think I'm doing? Rocking my balls? Alright, so now, the most annoying part about this particular area, the darn blood flies. It's a good thing I can handle them relatively easily, but uh, it's just the amount of numbers that you have to kill. But uh, I will first do that before I will get the quest, so that uh, I don't have to, you know, go to, through the swamp again. Get that bugger as a uh, new member of the sect camp, even though he's already a member. But maybe, you know. What are you doing here? We 
we're picking the swamp weed to be processed by our brothers, so it can be smoked later on. It's quite dangerous to pick it in the swamp, but the stuff only grows here. Actually, that's a good thing. Why? Because then the other two camps won't get it. We're the only ones in the colony who are able to pick swamp weed. We can trade it with the other two camps. And we can set the price. <laughs> Balaron sent me. I'm to take the whole harvest to Kalam. You think it's that easy, do you? Anybody could turn up like that. Balaron sent me and whoosh. The whole lot of the weeds were gone. But Balaron really has sent me. Sure. Go see him and ask if you don't believe me. I have a better idea. You prove your loyalty by doing a little job for us. And what do you want me to do? It's really nothing. Work in the swamp. It's a bit risky. And then there's those damn blood flies. Work would be much easier without them. Do you follow? I don't see any more. But there are some more. You won't. Thanks for the weed, guys. Goodbye. Alright guys, it's time to become the Bloodfly Exterminator. Careful when those uh, swamp sharks do annoying little buggers. I don't see any more blood flies anywhere. No more blood flies to be seen. That was a good job you did. Someone who works like that is either on our side or a complete idiot. An idiot would be too stupid to fool me, right? Here, take the harvest and take it to Korakalum. If he complains and says it's not enough, tell him to move his butt here himself to give him an idea how much hard work it is. I still need 
complete the swamp weed harvest, which I will complete now, which is uh, delivering the um, swamp weed harvest to Korkalom. Then I'm gonna get the um, guy from the old camp, Dusty, to join the Brotherhood. And uh, then we're pretty much done. Pretty much. And then we're gonna go uh, to the next episode where we're gonna join Gomez's men. And uh, at some point, I will show you guys how to become both a god and as well as a fire mage. Because normally, technically speaking, you should only be allowed to join one of them. But there is a way to a glitch past that in some sort of a way. Um, without using any kind of cheats, any kind of glitching itself, but well, it's just a kind of a glitch, you know, that will allow you to join both. I'm gonna join both, um, just because I can, and Rely so that I can collect the armors. Some people that never deliver the dumb wheat to this bugger. What do you want? How about a million? Would be great. I think I have convinced Balnabi. Thanks to Anne. That was your waste. I didn't want to do that. Because if I do that and I was ready, I was screwed. I'm delivering the daily swamp weed harvest. Ah, give it to me. And now get out of my sight. Some people never learn. You are really unfriendly, motherfucker. Hi, I'm new here. Oh, I, I, I'm Kane, a, a student of Kor Kalam. You must have heard about him, right? Mm, see, see. Yeah. Then you'll know that he's the second man in this camp, after E. Baryon. So, what's your job? And what? Well, I, I help my master prepare his alchemic potions. Mostly swamp weed and mine crawler secretion. The, the secretion is required very urgently. Where do I get the mine crawler secretion? You can find crawlers in the old mine, but you need to know how to win the secretion. If you really want to fight these beasts, you better speak to one of the Templars who's had experience like Gornadrak. He travels around between our camp and, and the old mine every day. In the mornings, you'll find him at the lab. You don't say, man. What, what more can you tell me about your master? He, he's not like the, the other gurus. Everybody may address him, but, but nobody's allowed to waste his precious time. I see. Well, good, good day to you, sir. Alright, so let's go to the wheat mashers again. And uh, I should be able to uh, get myself a sleeping spell. I've come. You've all. What's worth a try? Come closer! Every newcomer to this place receives a gift of welcome! I've already had my daily ration, man. You already said so. Oh, weird. No, not ready. Well, let's see if I can collect some ore at the smithy. Because I still have lots of weapons which I crafted just for that mere purpose. Well, there was a time when people all I'd like to trade with you. Good. Here, these are the weapons I have available at the moment. Wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. No ore. If you think. No ore whatsoever. Keep it to yourself. People don't need to know it. Well, there must be something about that story. Adam. Three or profit <laughs> for you. Worth. All right, guys. So this is gonna take some time. It's obvious that there'd be trouble ahead. Thought that be
Right, so let's go to the wheat mashes and uh, catch my sleeping spell so I can uh, sleep. You sleep on one of those buggers before it's nightfall and uh, get his approval as well. And then we're pretty much done here and uh, ready to uh, join mm. the old camp. And thus the path of Balear truly begins. That wasn't very clever. You have defended our gatherers. You have not only proved that you're on our side, you have proved that you are a worthy servant of the sleeper. I believe you are ready to wear the robe of a novice. I took the swamp weed to Kor Kalam. You have done well. I have a small reward for your efforts. Here, take it. It's a magic sleep spell. You can only use it once. But I hope it will be of good service to you. Meaning that if I truly want to join the Brotherhood, I have to use it on one of Balkadar's disciples. And put one of them to sleep. Wasn't very clever. It was obvious that there would be I wouldn't like to be in his shoes. If you no. think Let's talk about What are you doing? I'm trying to meditate with my disciples. Who taught you to use the magical powers of the sleeper? Nobody. It was very easy. You seem to be an intelligent student. I will teach you. I want to acquire magic writings. What was that? I don't know, you tell me. But that was uh, the sect camp, my friends. We've got approval of all the balls, of all the buggers, so we could actually join the sect camp. But if you want to see that particularly, go check out my second playthrough, The Path of Enos, which is, yes, a servant of the sect, a brotherhood, a member of the brotherhood. And if you want to see the playthrough of Adenos or the new camp, check out my first playthrough of the path of Adenos and uh, that one will be the new camp. And uh, same goes on with Gothic 2, you know. Mercenaries, Adenos, Paladin, Enos, Fire Mage, Balear. Um, I will explain you why the Fire Mage for me is Balear personally, once I'm at Gothic 2 when I'm gonna join the mages. So if you look forward to that, a thumbs it up and uh, I hope to see you guys in, you know, eventually Gothic 2 Path of, uh, Path of Balear, a Gothic 3 Path of Balear, any videos, any playthrough, any game that I would touch I would turn to gold. Too bad the game doesn't have, you know, achievements and whatnot, I would have turned it to, from gold to platinum, but you know, it is what it is, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and uh, if feel free to subscribe, and if you do, hit the notification bell, and uh, a thumbs it up if you like the video, a thumbs it down if you didn't like it, you know, that's your, that's your, you know, uh, how should I say it, you can do that, you know, just do that, if you don't like the video, uh, leave behind the thumbs down, you know, it's not, it's not gonna look good on my channel, but, you know, any feedback is better than no feedback whatsoever and if you do give that thumbs down and tell me what I need to improve on my channel if for in order for you to turn that a thumbs down into a thumbs up so I hope to see you guys next time and uh, in the next episode we're gonna join the gods slash old camp slash fire mages and uh, I hope to see you guys then so yeah good day to you guys and I will see you guys next time.